our kids are teens. Okay. Wow. <laughs> they are awesome sometimes, and they drive us nuts at other times. We're just trying to steward the space that God's given us to provide to others to, man, fight this battle against absence and fatherhood with intentional presence, because we need to do that in our own homes, <laughs> especially as they're growing up and taking off. We call this first stage of the rod build the foundation. You're laying the foundation. Everything like the, that affects the future trajectory of the rod is done now. And part of that is me pressing forward to, I want to have my own thing too. Um, you know, I want, I want more freedom. I have more of a pressure when you're there because it's like dad's watching. Him pushing back. I got it dad, I don't need your help. I mean, sometimes I'm offering guidance, but I don't know what I'm doing. It was difficult to trust and follow you because I knew that you had not done it before. I don't know what to say because it's almost like I don't care. I'm not on my own yet, but I think sometimes it kind of feels like I'm still having to make, you know, decisions and stuff. I mean, I know there's going to be some tension. Sometimes I've had a concern that that, that message has been conveyed. I want to crush the boys' hearts and they're coming into manhood, but that's what I can be can be undercutting them or, or rescuing them. And I think that's really hard. It's like you're painted into a circle, into a corner. Sometimes there's just not as, like in that way I say it, there's not as much grace. Dad, I'm not the same person you are. Um, not being afraid of the hard stuff, kind of like those deeper discussions. Press in, like don't back out. Be present and get after it. You will be a trendsetter in the places that you go.